Aloha. Welcome back to Vigilante Coffee, Brewworks video series. Tonight we're gonna to teach you how to make a proper shot of espresso. So come back behind the bar and let's learn. Hi, welcome back behind the bar. Tonight we're gonna to work on the La Marzocco PB and you're gonna need some essential tools to make sure you pull a great shot of espresso. You're gonna need a tamp. You're gonna need a grinder. In this case, we're working on the Melconic K30 Twin. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you have a porta filter, which should come with your espresso machine. So the first thing you wanna do is dry it with a clean, dry cloth. Next, dose out your coffee. In our case, we're gonna be grinding our Tim Lizzie espresso blend that we use here at Vigilante Coffee. And we're gonna dose out about 20 grams of espresso. Once you have it dosed out, you're gonna gently tap it on the chamber of the espresso grinder. That's gonna settle the coffee. If you need to, distribute the coffee evenly and make sure you clear all grounds from the outer rim. Grab your tamp and you kinda of wanna hold it like you're holding a doorknob. Thumb and your forefinger having the most pressure. Set up your stance and make sure you have a nice right angle to do the tamp. Essentially, we wanna tap this with five pounds of pressure to start, then we're gonna come up with 20 to 30 pounds of pressure. There's my five. Notice the right angle so I have a nice even tamp. And here's my 30 to 50. Once you've done that tamp, you're gonna to wanna to spin the tamp and cause a 360 degree polish. Take a look and you have a nice even tamp and we're ready to get started. Next thing you're gonna do, regardless if it's the first shot or the last shot, you wanna purge your machine. Make sure you do that, it's gonna clean the screen, it's gonna bring the group head back to the original temperature you want it at. You're gonna want your shots of espresso pulled between 197 to about 200 degrees. Place the porta filter into the group head, pull it snug to the right, make sure you have your timer in hand. In my case, I have it built into the machine, so all I'm gonna do is hit this button here. From the moment I press that button until the second it drips out, we call that pre-infusion, when the water hits the coffee but it hasn't come out the other side. This is an important note, and make sure that you're keeping track of that. In the case of Tin Lizzie Espresso, we're aiming for a 25 second shot overall, and you're gonna notice that the crema turns from like a burgundy cherry red to a dark chocolate to a brown yellow color. Once you started to hit the yellow stage, that's key note to start to cut the espresso off. Once we're finished, we're simply gonna tap out any air bubbles that we might have. Grab your ceramic cup. Never wanna put your espresso in a paper cup. If you've done this right, you're gonna have a nice thick golden hue on top of the espresso. That's a really good sign that you've pulled an excellent shot of espresso. And then enjoy.